more about the disturbing details of a fatal accident yesterday on the QEW in Niagara. Ontario Provincial Police are confirming a tire flew off a passenger van with such force that it killed a man. Maria Sru joins us live with the details. Maria. Adam, police tell us the man driving the passenger vehicle that lost its tire has been scheduled to appear in court. He was served with a summons for driving an unsafe vehicle. The OPP says an unidentified 47-year-old man from Toronto who was a passenger on this coach bus was killed when a stray tire crashed through the windshield and struck him. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Because the tire had, uh, had entered the, the bus and they were seated, unfortunately, in an area where the, the tire had, uh, had, had struck. Three other serious injuries were initially reported. Today, OPP Sergeant Sammy Nasser says two passengers were hurt and the injuries have been downgraded to minor. Nasser says the wheel flew off a civilian passenger van, hitting at least two other vehicles, including a pickup truck, before it smashed through the front of the coach bus, leaving a gaping hole. It's really hard to stop a tire um, that has a lot of momentum at highway speeds. At those speeds, it does catastrophic damage to whatever it, it touches. Niagara officers from the Burlington OPP are still investigating the collision, which took place at 3.40 Friday afternoon on the Toronto-bound QEW just past the Garden City Skyway Bridge in St. Catharines. The OPP's Highway Safety Division confirmed late last night all lanes of the QEW Toronto-bound at Glendale are open. The affected bus is part of Great Canadian Coaches Fleet. The group travel company could not be reached today for comment. A 45-year-old man from New York State who was driving the minivan that lost its wheel has been served a Part 3 summons for driving an unsafe motor vehicle. And that, Adam, is one of the most serious provincial offenses. That said, he can't be sentenced to jail time, and the maximum penalty is $5,000. The drivers due at the Ontario Court of Justice in Welland on September 4th this year. Back to you.